To my knowledge, all medieval castles had prisons, and many of them had uh, torture chambers as well. Um, this is the prison and torture chamber. We have three cells uh, with straw mats uh, for prisoners, and um, virtually everything in here are replicas, virtually. However, these replicas are made exactly like the real ones that we found in Italy. Uh, for instance, this is a rack for making people taller, for stretching people. And uh, all the wood is hand plain. Um, these little ticklers have two inch nails coming out of them so that they, they would ravage your back when you're being stretched. The whole idea of torture wasn't a quick death. It was slow, prolonged pain. And that was the idea of torture, whether it was to gain a confession or whether it was just as punishment. Um, in front of me, we have a cranium crusher. So a person's head was put um, uh, horizontally under it, and people would slowly ratchet down, um, again, uh, prolonging the most amount of pain over the longest period of time possible. Uh, here we have a block for chopping off heads with the axe above it. The one authentic uh, uh, device we have, torture device, is called an Iron Maiden. And its real name, its original name, was the Virgin of Nuremberg. Notice she's not smiling. And um, it's made out of bronze. And it, the original one, the first one, came from the castle of Nuremberg in Germany. And it became quite popular as a torture device. And what it has, you can see them, uh, four or five inch long spikes. And the door would be closed. And the spikes weren't meant to kill you instantly. They were meant to penetrate maybe an inch, two inches into your body. But over a period of time, either you died or they light a fire underneath you and boil you to death while you were um, being penetrated from the spikes. This cage often was for minor offenses. And often it was either suspended in the courtyard or directly outside the castle main gate. And again, it was to remind people, okay, this time you're, you're getting off pretty easily, uh, but to remind the populace, don't commit this type of offense or you'll be in here. And, and uh, often they were just put in a, a cellar or a dungeon and uh, people weren't fed and then they and eventually just die. Um, what else do we have here? We have a broadsword. Uh, we have a, a, a chain whip for uh, doing a lot of damage to a person's back. Oh, and here's an interesting one. We have a, a triangle here. <laughs> um, you can't imagine what it's for. What you do, you set a person over it, and you'd have the point of the triangle going up the rectum. And this, over a period of time, the body weight would sink onto this triangle, and it was a, a tremendous pain that it would evoke. And if, it, if the body didn't um, sink over the triangle quickly enough, they'd put some sandbags or some weights on their shoulders to make sure it happened. Anyway, these were very, very cruel devices, and um, but they but they but got the point across. It's not like modern prisons where you get three square meals a day. You can read law books, watch television, uh, play sports, and uh, and just relax. So uh, punishment and torture were much more severe.